In a recent live stream, I was explaining the reason why I flew back home from Korea. I explained that I was sick and wanted to prioritize my health. I stated, I think it may have been the Chinese pollution that blows over to Korea. Since I received a lot of messages from the Chinese community regarding this, I'd like to apologize for my comment and how that could hurt people's feel. It was ex an extremely unnecessary comment. I can see how it can come off as disrespectful and distasteful. In no way was I trying to paint China in a bad light. Again, I apologize. This is effective and will make sure that going forward, I'm more mindful with what I say on stream. What did she say? Like, what was, does anyone have the actual clip? Because, because I, listen, I'm also not trying to get on the bad side of like the CCP, but like, there's Chinese air pollution, you know? Like, it's not disres, I don't think it's disrespectful or distasteful to be like, yo, like, the fucking air pollution. Like, and, and by the way, there's like three countries that's pretty fair to say this about. There's probably some more, but like, bro, United States, China, and India. Like, yeah, like, bro, if someone comes to LA and is like, yo, dude, this LA fog and pollution in LA is dog could barely breathe. I'm not going to be like, how dare you offend Los Angeles? I'm like, yeah, shit sucks. Right? Like, I mean, I would say, yo, Chinese community, it's like you get to live in like, you, you are in like one of the most powerful, economically well-off, industrialized nations in the world. You have to accept the criticism that comes with that. You know? Now, I I get why if I said this. Listen, I'm, I'm going to be honest, yeah. I'm like, I'm on the like, I'm on my, you know, but like I, 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 I feel like I walk on eggshells. Chat, I got so in my head and I was so, I, th I thought people were going to be really pissed at me because um, when they were like, when it was Cap's charity term and like, oh, like, yeah, like what charity are you guys supporting? I was like, yeah, you know, my team, we're going to support the IDF. And people were like, what the f And I was like, oh yeah, the Im uh, Immunodeficiency Foundation. <laughs> I was like, oh, dude, like. I was, I was trying to make a joke about Connor's whole thing because Connor got like in a lot of flack for that because he was like, yo, we're fundraising for the IDF. And people are like, oh, you're fundraising for the IDF. Like China, Japan, Korea don't get along. So it's probably that. Okay. Now I listen as a white American. I don't know if this is true. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've heard, like I've just heard that like, you know, like in the US, like, yeah, we like there's ra like there's racism, there's there's that shit, but like usually people like there's at least a huge chunk of people like where you say some shit and it's like you know, if some like white dudes like talking about like Mexicans, like there's a bunch of people going to be like, "Yo, like what the fuck, dude? That's racist. Like what the fuck are you on about?" I have heard in East Asia that like they'll just fucking shit on each other and no no one cares. Like no one's like, "Hey, that's right." They're like, "Yeah." Fuck them. Like there's like a lot of beef, you know, a lot of tension. So I've heard, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It's like a triangle. If you put any of the two together, they shit on the common enemy. I mean, I, I will literally, I'll, I'll literally tell you guys like a story where like one of my best friends right out of college, this is actually one of my, the best friend uh, who I went to Korea with. So he has a bunch of family in Korea. Right after, right after I stopped working for PlayStation, I went on like a three week long vacation before I started working at Riot where I was in Korea and it was sick because like I went with my Korean friends who had family there and it was very much like, it didn't feel like a, oh, a touristy trip. It felt like, yo, we're like staying like locals, eating like locals, chilling for like three weeks. It was great. And I got along with his parents who you know were Korean immigrants to the US, very successful. And when they were like, when I, I remember I even like told them, I was like, oh yeah, like I'm, I'm going to go work for a riot and like, and they're like, Oh, like, Oh, right. And I was like, yeah, it's like owned by like 10 cents, stuff like this. And I remember they were like, this is good. It's better for you to work for a Chinese company than for a Japanese company. And I was like, Oh, Oh, okay. Like they did, they, they, like their family did not fuck with the Japanese. Like it was like, they were like happy. I was going to go work for 10 cents. So that was a whole thing. That's wild. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing I've noticed, I feel like a lot of like a lot of people's perspectives on like relationships between countries and races and ethnicity. It's really weird when you get like the very like U.S. centric ones that just don't have an idea of how relations are in other countries. 
amongst themselves, amongst different kind of like, it's like, which is, it's weirdly like, um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. T. Anyways, I am too white to have an opinion about any of this. Shit, so I, I just, I just listen, smile and nod. Not that I smile and agree with it. I, I'm, I'm, see you guys on Twitter. For the record, I don't, sorry, I just wanted to say, I don't support the IDF. I support the Immunodeficiency Research Foundation, but not the other IDF.